Okay, now we'll talk about we resolved a paradox. Okay, then uh, again, uh, students, when they uh, uh, try to resolve this paradox, they a little bit get frustrated. The paradox is the following. Suppose we have a helicopter, okay? So a helicopter stays in the air. Suppose it doesn't move. It can stay for hours, you know. So it consumes energy, of course, right? And uh, when we try to use uh, this uh, known formula from physics that the difference in energy will be just a mechanical work done. So difference in energy is, let's say, like this. This is work, mechanical work done. And this is energy of the helicopter, which comes from burning fuel. So it is actually thermal energy that transfers to mechanical energy, but mechanical energy here is zero because mechanical energy equals F force vector multiplied by distance. And this is zero, so it is zero. And the student makes a mistake saying that this doesn't consume any energy. The question is how it doesn't consume any energy if it works. It consumes, ener consumes fuel. Okay, in some time, the, when there's no fuel, the helicopter will just fall on the Earth. And this is a paradox, and students get frustrated. So we just show you again how the Russian math approach uh, can be used to solve this paradox. All right, so first of all, okay, this approach teaches us, teaches us then we have to analyze the input. And we have here one system that is in equilibrium because helicopter doesn't move okay, against the Earth, so it stays still in the air. Okay, but there is one system, is a helicopter, and one system is the Earth, and they are in equilibrium. All right, so let us again okay, build this uh, abstract model, which is a scale, and this is an equilibrium, this is Earth and the helicopter. Okay, so what we should, how we should reason here? We have two systems, and if we would like to analyze what happens with the helicopter, we have to remove the Earth from here. So when we remove the Earth from here, we see just one system, and the helicopter will fly up right away because he spends his energy against the Earth's gravity. Yeah, so he will fly up, and we can use very simple formulas that we learn from school that this distance will be uh, the just a product of an ex the uh, acceleration of gravity g multiplied by time squared okay divided by two okay this is s so when we have this we can calculate the a mechanical work because m is given to us and m is just 5000 kilos okay so the problem becomes extremely simple what we do now we just calculate the distance with time and at 5 seconds okay we have this result it is 122.5 meters all right so then we have uh, everything is known, and we calculate that mechanical work is 6,003 kilojoules, approximately. So actually, we found that the difference in thermal energy that gets from burning fuel is not zero, but 6,003 kilojoules. Okay. This is the second example.